particular version or verse to answer the deity of Jesus Christ. As we've already seen, the real identity of Christ Jesus is not revealed to people out of uh, because for, for the sake of argument. No, those who are, who are serious with him, as he said, Peter, uh, you did not learn my, my real identity from, from books or from any other teacher. My father has actually yeah. made you known the secret of who I am. It means the deity of Jesus Christ doesn't come to people for arguments. Now he continues. Yeah, my father, God himself let you in on the secret of who I really am. And now I'm going to tell you who you are, really are. You are Peter, a rock. This is the rock upon which I will build my church. Yeah. And you are so expensive that all the energies of hell will not be greater to keep it out. And that is not all. You will have complete access to the kingdom of heaven. Peace open every door. No more barriers between heaven and earth. A yes on your part on earth is yes in heaven. And a no on a no. Now, yeah. I'm coming to you. I'm listening. Then I'm listening. He, he commanded them. He warned them. Listen here. He swore unto them not to tell this secret who he really is to any other person. This okay. is Jesus Christ. Now, I'm coming to you. Was Jesus really willing to die? Okay. Verse 21. Then Jesus made it clear to his disciples that it is necessary for him to go to Jerusalem and submit himself to suffering at the hands of the religious leaders and be killed. That's right. Be killed. Then on the third day, he will be raised up. When he said this, his, I mean, it's natural. He has been with people who really love him. And what is, what is expected? Then yeah. his best disciple, the one who loved him. Peter was a fisherman. He left his boat to follow Jesus. Then yeah. Peter took him. Here. Peter took him aside, protesting. Impossible, master. That can never be. Yeah. You see, yeah. in Islam, they believe Jesus never died. This is the real what went on. Yeah. When he mentioned that you are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God, and he said, well, You done well, I'm going to establish a church yeah. upon you, and the church is now okay. here. Let me... Go to St. Peter's Cathedral. I'm coming out. Okay, go. Now, and later he made it clear, I'm going to die. Yeah. How do you expect such Messiah to die? So yeah. his disciple Peter said, No. And let's see what Jesus said. Jesus didn't swear. Jesus said, Get out of my way. Satan, get lost. He told Peter to get out of my way. Now here is it. You have no idea how God works. Some okay, let me let me let me respond to some of the things you said because a lot what of I am saying is what no Jesus problem, said, what no problem. The okay. that is coming from no problem. Lord himself. Go ahead. Okay, so when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? You tell you now go to Gethsemane. No, um, of course. Why not? Do you have a problem with Gethsemane? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. okay. So when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, what was he doing? In, what was he doing there? What was he praying? What was he asking God for in the Garden of Gethsemane? What was he asking God? What was his prayer? May this cup be taken from. Okay, maybe your friends answering, but no, 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 oh, one second. Let's just do one. Let's one, one point at a time. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, of course, of course, because Jesus is a servant of God, so therefore he would follow the will of his Father. We have no disputes in that. It's just like in Islam, as Muslims, we submit our wills to the Creator. So we have no issues in submitting to God. However, when Jesus was in the, so back to my question, and I'm answering your previous what you were reading to me, right? Because we can see that there's some anomalies here, right? When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was asking God for what? What was he asking God for? Yeah, let's go there. I don't need to. Now, okay. Let's, yeah. let's go there. We read, I'm starting from um, the Matthew, is it 26? Let's go down. When Jesus finished saying these things, he told his disciples, you know, the Passover comes in two days. That is when the Son of Man, he's describing himself, will be betrayed and handed for crucifixion. At that moment, at that very moment, the party of the high priest and religious leaders were meeting in the chambers of the uh, chief priest called Caiaphas, conspiring how to take Jesus Christ and kill him. They agreed that they should they should not do so during the Passover. We, we don't want a route out of hand. Now, when we go down there, let me see.
when they were contemplating how to get yeah. all of this system, then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest. What will you give me so that I will hand him over to you? They settled on 30 silver pieces. And this Judas Iscariot began looking for ways to be betray to turn him over. On the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciple came to Jesus Christ and asked, Why do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? He said, Enter to the city and you ask someone. The master wants to celebrate the Passover with his disciple and he will give you, he will show you an upper room. And after sunset, yeah. the twelve met together and around. During meal, Jesus said, I have something hard but important to say to you. One of you here is going to hand me over to the conspirators. They were stunned and began to ask one another, Is it I, Lord, Ma Master? Jesus said, The one who's the one who hand me over to someone, I eat with dairy. One who passes me food at my table. In the sense, the Son of Man will go in, as is it, it is already written, but woe unto that person. Yes. In another sense, man who turns him, turns straighter to the Son of Man. Better never has this man been born. Then Judas Iscariot, already turned traitor, said, Is it me, Lord? And Rabbi, Jesus said, Don't pray games with me. Then, during the meal, Jesus took bread. You know, Christians celebrate the party. Yeah, but you haven't really, you're not really I'm like, coming, responding to my, you're not responding to my, to my, to what I'm asking now, you. Now, I want you, to what you. Brother, what you've done, you're taking the M25, <laughs> when, when you really, you could take the A-road. You know? What I'm so, yeah, to do so, is, so, so brother, I'm asking you, like, please, just listen to the question, yeah, yeah. right? Listen to the question what I'm asking you, you know, bless you. Right, but I'm, I'm asking when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? He was asking God, what was his prayer? What was what was his supplication towards the Creator? I'll, what was I'll, he I'll, what I'll, was he beseeching I'll, God? Pass for me. I'll, I'll be coming there, please. Uh, let me. I'll be coming there. You know why? You know why I'm taking. You're taking the M25 no, no, again, yeah? yeah? You know why? I want to share more life so that the bell, my Muslim brothers will know without no, doubt that. The, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ really happened. Look, and right look, that's why I'm, I'm bringing... No, but what you need, brother, the, the you need to condense the, 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 the argument. So what I'm asking you, like, I, I understand that you want to, like, give me the whole passage. Yeah, without that, But you know what? From A to Z, how My friend, I'm, I'm here to the Simpsons come, but I've got to go up. <laughs> so, brother, listen, now, I'm asking I, 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 you, I now show me, brother, show me, show me where Jesus we, said... We are coming to, we are going to get some we are going there. We don't have time. No, I have time. time then we come tomorrow. Okay, yes. go, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go you ahead. See, we are, we show are me. Going, show we me. We are going on the way to Gethsemane. Yeah. Now, okay. I just want to share more lights on what really happened on that T day. Yeah. So now they prepare the Passover. The Passover is something when they were leaving Egypt, the lamb was killed and the blood was smeared. Yeah. This, it was the symbolic of the final sacrifice of this Jesus Christ to save mankind. Because that Passover, when they killed that lamb and smelled on their lamb and no push, those who had that blood were saved from the dead angel. So also, it's symbolic now, the actual thing is happening here now. So let me drink. So, so what are you showing me now? During the meal, that's the Passover meal. That yeah. they did it in Egypt. Now it's happening in the life of Jesus Christ and his disciples. Yeah. Symbolic for all human race. Now, during the meal, Jesus took the bread and breast that broke it and gave it to his lap. Take it, this is my body. Then, taking the cup, thanking God, he gave it to them. Drink this, all of you, this is my blood. Yeah. God's new covenant poured out for many people for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, it's okay. Symbolic, just as the lamb was right. sacrificed. So are you, are you going to answer my question? or? <laughs> you say, right, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to show you that Jesus didn't die on the cross, right? I'm going to show you from the Old Testament that Jesus was saved, right? Because you need to understand one thing, my brother, right? We are in the Gethsemane now, are you not? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Because, you, because you're... The, 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 the song is sung after the finish. Jesus, you say, the Christians continue to do that. We call it Holy Communion, Eucharist. Oh, so Eucharist, Eucharist. Yeah. Eucharist. 
It's something that happened right from the day he was like, Okay, show me, show me, now, show me. Read it, read it. After they finish, he used the blood, the red one, as his blood of the new covenant. Yeah. By that time, the covenant had been established in the, in the Jewish people. But God preparing a lamb, Jesus Christ, as a human being, was to a lamb as well. Yeah. So he gave them that, uh, that one as his blood, a new covenant to save many. Okay, and I show believe me. and hope. I hope you will be Brother, what you're doing is preaching. You need to show me exactly. the evidence what you're doing. Well, that's Brother, you're, you're going on a preaching no, no. mode. You need to show me what you're saying. Otherwise, it's just... Yeah, you're going in circles, man. Because, because if you're going to preach, and I, because I need to say something to you. So show me what, 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 what I'm asking. So, I'm, well, I, okay, I'll repeat the question because because you've been because you said a lot. Maybe you forgot the question. So, when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, was what was he asking God for? Okay, wait. Yeah. Then Jesus went with them to a garden called Gethsemane and told his disciples, Stay here while I go there yes. and pray. Yeah. How many times God said, Worship the one? God. Taking along with him Peter and two sons of the bed, that's James, into an agonizing sorrow. Yeah, yeah. Then he said, This sorrow is crushing my life out. Stay here and keep vigil with me. A little ahead, he fell on his face, praying, My father, if it is, if there is a way, get me out of this, but please, not what I want. You, what you want. Yeah. Okay. When he came back to, so. Okay, now hold on one second, one second. I, I, because, I right, okay. He said, so read that part again where he says, if you want, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it If there is, is a way, get me out of this. Right. If there is a way. Not what I want, not my way. I understand that. Right. He said, if there is a way, get me out of this situation. Does that sound like a willing or unwilling participant? The answer my question. Does that sound, if I said to you, I am not willing to die today, but I will die next week. Right? Does that mean I'm willing to die today? or next week. So my question is to you, did Jesus in that prayer sound like a willing participant to die for the sins of people? That's my first question. What's the, what's the, your, and your answer is? Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Jesus said, I do not want to die. Right? And you're saying Jesus wanted to die. Do you see the contradiction here? No, hold on. No, no, listen to the question. Listen to the question. Jesus said here, I do not want to die, but if you... Listen, no, hear me out. Brother, listen, hear me. Hear me out first. Hear me out. I understand the question. I understand the question. I understand the question. I understand. I'm, 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 I'm going to include this. That's what I'm saying. You need to listen. Jesus said, I do not want to die, but... It's your will. Remember what I said earlier in the beginning of this conversation. I said to you, Jesus is... Jesus is a... No, 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 listen. Jesus is a believer in God, right? But this should make you think. This should open your mind, right? If Jesus is God, as you believe, why would God ask another God to be saved if he is God? Right? Listen to the question, right? If... Think about this question. You believe Jesus is God. You believe that he's both man and he's both man and God at the same time, right? Why would God, right, ask another God, so that's two gods now, right? God, please save me from this situation. I don't want to die. Why would God seek the help and invocation of another God that's greater than him? John chapter 14, verse 28, Jesus says, My father is greater than I. Right? My father is greater than I. But what we find here, right? I, I, I tell you what. We find that there's a contradiction here. And I'll tell you what the contradiction is. Because Jesus Christ, clearly from this verse that you've just read to me, did not want to die on the cross. Clearly he didn't. 
And Jesus said in the Matthew chapter 7, he said, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Did not Jesus say this? After the I can garden. see he's, he's get, you're, getting an, in, in, you're getting help. After the garden, he could have put down 12 legions of angels. He didn't have to go to the cross after the garden. You want to help your brother out? You two want to I'm consult? To say this. I'm no, trying to say to you You want to have shura? Do you want to have consultation? No, there's, there's nothing like consultation. Wait, wait, hear, this, hear this, hear this. And best, I've explored this, I've come without doubt. It's his intention. You remember when Peter mentioned to him that... My friend, how can it be someone's wait, wait, intention? Wait. No, hold on, you're saying something incorrect. How can it be someone's intention to die when the verse says, listen, when the verse says itself, God save me from this situation. Not by my will, but your will be done. This doesn't sound like somebody who wants to die for people's sins. This sounds like, and not only this, but this contradicts so it's many there's, verses. There's no contradiction. I will tell you where. I'm making a claim and I will substantiate that claim, right? Let me substantiate my claim in two places. If we go to Matthew chapter 4, verse 5, there was a conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's up to you. It's up to whoever wants to answer this, right? Right. I want you to listen to this. I want, hold on, brother. One second. All right, I will do it. There, there is a conversation between the devil and Jesus, and it's a very interesting conversation that, that takes place here. And you will see exactly why I have the belief that Jesus did not die on the cross, right? Right. You, you, I mean, you, you have believed, uh, you hear this, let me correct you. I, I, I'm, I'm going to read wait, this. Wait, wait, let, me, let me correct you. When we talk of belief, when we talk of belief, it's something that is not seen, but we propose that is there. The crucifixion and the death of Jesus Christ, it happened physically. I'm going to prove that he didn't die on the cross. Now, that first thing here, it happened physically, like a city. It didn't happen in a city. Priest. A city like this, people went there, they saw him. Like the Peter who? issue. Yes, who saw him? Those who the were Bible there. said, it happened like the Bible said, Mary. the Bible said, they all forsook him no, and no, fled. No, no, don't let what they teach you in Islam. The mother was Excuse there. Me? The, no. mother, the mother, the mother was there. The mother was underneath the cross. This is what and Islam no, says. No, 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 no. The mother, the mother of Jesus. This is what the Bible says. No, 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 you are Christian. No, 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 hold on a second. Wait, wait, hold on. I want to correct you. Jesus Christ was crucified. Even outside Christian history. Who was the witness? Who was the witness? Who was the witnesses show me the witnesses i'm going to prove to you that it was the disciples now, that now, forsook him and fled so where are the witnesses it happened those days the romans were controlling practically the whole world Go to the, who the, witnessed the, the archive, who witnessed it? Who witnessed the crucifixion? Because John Mary and John were there underneath the cross. Jesus said, Mother, this is your son. And son, this is under the cross when Jesus was suffering. It's there. It happened after Islam came says that. Now, now hear, hear this. No. I will take you to something physical. No, no, I want to respond to you. No, wait, wait. I will take you to something physical. It's raining. Go to Istanbul. It's we raining. have the oldest Christian church there. Eastern, I asked Sophia, you know who built it? Constantine. Yes, Find friend, out my friend, how did you're, you're fighting me you're, you're, you're getting touchy <laughs> you're attacking me i'm gonna i'm gonna conclude let, let me just conclude this listen to me i'm gonna have 30 seconds on this week no, no, listen 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 you, you guys are so grabby grabby i don't know what's wrong with you guys i know it's right? a simple one because you asked him earlier on right show me not, not an ambiguous thing but jesus says i am god worship i did ask that yeah right? Listen, Muslim, let me finish. Let me, let me make the point. Now. You can tell me that after. You're a Muslim or Christian? Alhamdulillah, Muslim. Yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, I'm going to say to you, I can show you where Jesus himself, his own words, says, I am Almighty God. Listen carefully. Okay. I can show you that. Is one. But that's, that's the first point. The second point, let me ask you, I've asked him, yeah. you know, Jesus was a sin, sinless man. According to what? He's, he's sinless. He, I'm not sinless. Sinless. He was sinless, yeah? Yeah, sinless. Sure. Alaikum. So, you know, you know, after he's done some of his miracles, etc., etc., people worshipped him, yes? Sorry? People worshipped him. Who worshipped him? Some of the people that he cured, they worshipped him from being cured. When they cured him, some bent down and worshipped him. Like According to the Bible? Yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The point I'm making is, Hamza, yes? Oh, Salaam Alaikum. 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 Salaam Alaik
is because Jesus received worship and he didn't object. Is that what you're... No, that's, that's the point I'm saying. He received worship without objecting to it. And if, he, if, if it was sin for them to do it, if it was sinful for someone to do it, he would have said to them, you can't worship me. Okay, so let me ask... You, you, let you me respond to you, brother. Away the glory. never said clearly... Brother, I'm going to respond to you. But, but Many I'm going to God I'm gonna say to you, I'm going to read to you the verse that says he's God Almighty. Let me do that. No, but can I respond to but your first point? Then you can respond. No, okay, go, go two, ahead. Only two points. I'm not going to no, go... No, 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 go ahead, yes. So I'm saying to you that who, in the book of Isaiah, God is saying, I am the first and the last. Okay. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, he, Jesus himself says, I am the first and the last. I am who is, was, and is to come, the Almighty. Not God, God Almighty. Almighty. And that's the only part of the whole Bible that he clearly says. Brother, I wanna, okay. Now you can respond. Okay, let me respond. Okay. Brother, brother, let's brother. God Almighty, I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Brother, let me respond to you. Okay. You know, you know, well, you know, one of the biggest sins. You know, brother. You know, in Islam, in Islam, one of the biggest sins, one of the biggest sins that you can commit. You need some help. Okay. Okay. Brother, okay. Do you know the biggest sins that you can commit is called shirk. Shirk is the biggest sin that you can commit in Islam. In the Quran, let me let me recite something to you in the Quran, and, I'm, and then I'm going to get back to you to what you're asking. Right? Right. Yeah. Okay. In the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Shirk means associating partners with the Creator." Right? Allah says, Inna Allah, la Allah does not forgive any sin. Right? Allah does not forgive any sin apart from shirk. Because shirk is considered as one of the, the most heinous sins. Now, no, but, yeah, but, but, the, yeah, okay, but, but what you do, you blaspheme by worshipping Christ. Right? You blaspheme by worshipping Christ. And, in your eyes, in your eyes. No, no, no. But in the Bible, Eyes as well. No, no. Well, I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Well, I'll, I'll prove, prove it to you. But when he said people you know, have worshipped him, him, and he never went, he never stopped them. Okay. It's, that's why I know. Okay. Listen. Listen. Did? Okay. So you're saying that Jesus received worship? Yes, he did. Does that make him God? Well, I don't know of any human being that on the day of their birth, God commands the angels to worship him, and that is in Hebrews chapter one. Okay. Did you know that Hebrews verse six or eight says? make all of God's angels worship. Whoever has ever been brought into the world and angels are asked to worship. Name me one person. Okay. Did you know Daniel was worshipped? Oh. You're not listening to the church. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm responding to no, you. Listen, no, no, I'm responding. No, no. I asked you just now. Brother, you tell me one person listen to the, that God has commanded the angels. Listen, you're, you're being unfair because no, I'm, I'm responding to you. No, but, uh, you're not allowing me to respond to you. Well, answer the, you ain't responding. Well, I'm trying to, but you have to give me a chance. <laughs> Bless you. You have to give me a chance, my friend. Listen, right? We are. Right. So your your argument was is that because Jesus received worship, that makes him God, right? So let's analyze that now, right? If we go back to the Greek, right? Jesus received proskunio. Proskunio doesn't mean worship in the sense that he is God Almighty, because we know that Jesus himself said to the devil. You should worship God and Him only you shall serve. Right? So that's a contradiction. So if you're saying, no, no listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm listening. Right, good. I'm going to respond when you finish. No problem. And then right? you do the other two points. Larry. Right, okay. So Jesus commanded the devil, He said, you should worship God and Him only you shall serve. So we understand from the words of Jesus that worship only belongs to God alone. I'm agreeing with you. Okay, good. No, I don't want to be in the family. Right? So we acknowledge that worship belongs to the Creator alone, right? 
so now you're bringing up a verse where people from I think the east or something like this some you you're, you brought up a verse where Jesus received worship on his and birth. Uh, yes yeah on his birth yeah. and he didn't object yeah. right so now well, you it was a baby I could object no 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 that's fine that's fine. angels not men angels brother no problem no problem no problem no problem but you have to now be biblically consistent I am because we know that Daniel prophet Daniel also received worship no. and he never objected. No, 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 Daniel. Are you aware of this? No, no, no. In you. Daniel chapter 2, yeah. verse 46, yeah. it says that Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face and worshipped Daniel. Worship Is God Daniel God? God. God. No, listen, listen carefully. Let's I read it. No, I'm going to get it in context. I'll read it for you. And oh, all of a sudden no, there's a context no, when it comes no, to Daniel, no, no. but when it but comes to Jesus, an there's no context. Have an to the question, we haven't answered the question. Hold on, let's go to Daniel no, chapter 2. No, no let's have, first no, go to Daniel. Okay, then we go back to the original Let's go to thing. Daniel. I said to him, where in the Bible did it say where angels were commanded to worship a newborn child? You'll see, um, the, the striving for West will actually not benefit anyone. The Sorry? word of God, I mean, striving for West will not actually benefit anyone. The word of God needs to be laid. Now, I want us to go to something that is really happening, you see, and bring it to our lives. I want us to, if you agree with me, that we go back to how this Western nations became a Christian nation. Verse 46. And I notice in most translations, they change the word from worship to prostration. That's what I've got here. Yeah, of course you have. Of course you have. Because that's what they did. You know, Sneaky. You know King Solomon, did he, did he worship his mother or did he respect her? He, he respected her and he bowed down before his own mother. And that was the king. That was the king bowing down to his own mother. So it's prostrate, it's different. I've got my, you can't convince me. You still haven't answered the question. No, no, hold on. One second. One second. One second. Who has come into the world and God has commanded the angels to worship nobody apart from God himself. Hold on, hold your horses. Hold on one second. Now it seems we are in a, in a, we are in a mood of uh, in a mood of how do you call it? Right, it says here. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel. Right, that he worshipped Daniel. So right. So my question. So, finish, finish reading. You haven't finished. Right. Okay. Said what? Okay. Hold on one second. Let me just bring the verse up. Then King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face and worshipped Daniel and paid him honor and ordered that an offering and incense be presented to him. Right? To, to Nebuchadnezzar. Right. So. No. Daniel. Yeah, to Daniel. So my question is, right, no, hold on, listen to the question, right? So we can we can see that Daniel received worship and Daniel did not object to it, just like Jesus did not object to worship when he received it. So now the question is, what is the word worship in the actual language? Then we can understand what type of worship did Daniel and Jesus received, right? Because you have to be biblically consistent. If you're saying that Jesus received worship and that makes him God, then you have to say that Daniel is also God because he did not object. He did not object worship. So now, this is why I was trying to say to that gentleman earlier, but he left, I don't know where he went, right? That. The type of worship Jesus received was homage. That's what he received. This is the reason why when you go back to the Greek, it uses the word proskunio. Proskunio in Greek means... Proskunio, yeah. Proskunio can mean worship. It can mean paying homage or bowing down out of respect for someone. That's what it is. That's, that's the context. So, so that you've, you've, you've done well. Now, now let's come to real business. When I talk of real business, something that you and I will benefit. That's something that all of us gathering will benefit. Now, so do you want to say something as well? No, I want to. Uh, you say we, we should not be striving with words that at the end will not benefit from it. Now, for me, I, I mean business. We are here. 
United Kingdom, we are here before it was called Great Britain. My question is, how did this Western nation, Jesus Christ was born in, in Bethlehem, in Israel. How did this person was born in Israel? These people, Western nations, have become Christian nations. Like the Queen, when he died, we saw a lot of testimony. How in the whole world do we have Christian church in Istanbul called Hagia Sophia? It's very easy. Wait, wait, very easy. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's easy because I wanted to start from something that is real, real, not this abstract word that will not benefit. There is a Christian church, one of the oldest Christian church in Istanbul called Hagia Sophia. You know who built it? Built by Constantine. How did that church go there? Why did this Constantine build that church? How did this Constantine become a Christian and decide to build a church? How? You see, from there we can extract something. That if we are in doubt, we can go there. Or because it's something physical happened, we can take extract something from it. Then we can stand on it. Okay, he but... did something. How did he come to that point of building a Christian church? And okay. Still right. You, you say it's easy. Go ahead. Right. Okay. So Christianity, right? People who converted. Remember, you had converts yeah. to Christianity, right? Jesus was not sent to the Gentiles. You need to understand this. Please. A line please, of Quran. Please, hold on, please, brother. Please, I'm trying to. Wait, wait, no, no, hold wait, on. Wait, you're being wait, unfair. Wait, please, wait, you're please, asking me a question, and you, please, you, want, you don't want to listen please, to the answer. Please. I just want to make. You know, I, I please, feel like I'm. Please, never, never make a statement when you never, when you are not sure of 100%. But you haven't even given me the chance wait, to answer wait, wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing. You're cutting me off. Wait, I'm standing in front of you. I made that statement. I mentioned my name. Oh, today I talked to this guy. Brother, you need to. Brother, listen, listen, listen. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm wasting my time with you. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm wasting my time.